Hello guys, this is Adit. Welcome to my channel Movement Science where I simplify biomechanics with Job. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also check me out on Instagram where I post pictures of my notes and also put out some daily MCQs. The reference time for all the topics that I am going to cover will be mentioned down in the description. So check that out and let's get started. In this video, we are going to talk about the gravity and the center of gravity and center of mass. Then we will talk about the line of gravity and also we will see how all of these, the, the center of mass, gravity and line of gravity are interconnected. And then in the next video, we will be talking about the base of support and also stability and balance and what is the difference between stability and balance. So all these concepts are very important for your gait and posture. So I thought I'll cover that topic first before starting with gait and posture. So sit back, relax and let's get started. Starting with gravity, it is a downward pull of earth on the body. Now there are different definitions for gravity but I felt this was the most relevant one for when we are learning biomechanics. And the thing about gravity is it is always constant and it always acts on the body. Now what do I mean by it always acts on the body? Why am I saying this? Whenever we are talking about kinetics, that is the forces that are acting on the body, we will be talking about say shoulder flexion, right? So what will be happening during shoulder flexion, your deltoid will be acting against the gravity. And that's why gravity always has to be taken into consideration and it is always present when we are talking about the kinetics, right? Then going ahead, center of gravity. What is this? It is a point of application of gravity on an object or its center of mass. Now, if you take Joe and if he's falling down, when he's falling down, where is the gravity acting on him? Is it on his head? Is it on his trunk? Is it on his legs or foot? Where is it? So it is on the center of mass. Okay. So it is a point of application of gravity on an object. Correct. That is Joe or its center of mass. So what is center of mass now? Center of mass is a hypothetical point at which all the mass of the object or segment appears to be concentrated on. Right. So over here in Joe, if I am able to balance Joe over here somewhere at this point where he is not either falling on this side or the other side, that is his center of mass. Okay. So for a ball over here, it will be right at the center. Whereas for a bat, if you see over here, it will be slightly on the heavier side. That is the asymmetrical object, right? So when the gravity is acting on the center of mass, Okay, when the gravity is acting on the center of mass, it can be called as the center of gravity. Simple, right? So in human beings, the center of mass is generally located anterior to the sacral vertebra. Okay, that is somewhere over here, as you can see in an anatomical position when you are standing, the center of mass will be present at the anterior region of the sacral vertebra. And this center of mass, it can change with motion and it can also change with body structure. By body structure, what do I mean? When you are a newborn, your center of mass will be somewhere above the umbilicus and then two years it will be near umbilicus, five years below the umbilicus. So it keeps changing and as you become an adult human, it will be stable because then there will, won't be much change in your mass, right? Unless you gain weight or lose weight. But yeah, in a normal human being with an anatomical position, his center of mass will be at the anterior region of the sacral vertebra, which is very important. Okay. A few more examples, if I would like to give of center of mass for a person would be if a person has a heavier upper body compared to a lighter lower body, his center of mass will shift more of uh, more on the upper side. Whereas if he has a heavier lower body, his center of mass will shift lower, right? So that is how center of mass can change with the structure as well as the motion of the body. So basically center of mass will change with symmetrical and asymmetrical object. In symmetrical, it will be right at the center. It's very easy to guess. Whereas in asymmetrical object like bat, it will be more on the side where there is more mass. Correct. So over here in the bat, it's more towards the heavier side compared to the lighter grip side. Now center of mass does not always have to be inside the object. It can be also outside. So if I give you an example, if there is a ring like this, the center of mass of this ring will be in the hollow part of the ring, right? Not in, in the ring. So that is another fact about the center of mass. And 
it can also change with motion so if you take example over here that you see this human being is standing and as he flexes as you can see there are two points over here right now what are those two points the center of mass of his upper trunk and the center of mass of his lower body correct so that is what i mentioned over here that it is the mass that is concentrated at an object or the segment so we have basically divided the body into two segments the upper part and the lower part so the upper part has a center of mass of its own and the lower part has center of mass of its own and when you connect both of these you get a point outside the body so the center of mass or the center of gravity of this human being is outside the body when the gravity is acting on the center of mass okay when the gravity is acting on the center of mass it can be called as the center of gravity simple right so center of mass and center of gravity is the same thing it's just that when the gravity is acting on the center of mass it can be called as the center of gravity now that this concept is clear let us move on to the line of gravity now line of gravity in simple word is basically a vector so it is a gravitational vector and if you are not familiar with the concept of vector you can check out my video on this where i've discussed about this it's in the playlist of core concepts of biomechanics you can check out that playlist i'll link it over here on top so basically your vector has a point of action then it tells you the direction of the force and also the magnitude of the force so the line of gravity does the same thing the point of action is what your center of gravity or center of mass right where the gravity is acting so that is the line of gravity so that is where the gravity is acting and then the line which goes straight downward is the line of gravity it acts vertically downward always that is it is directly pointing to the center of the earth because it's the gravity right and it is always vertically downward right as you can see here 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 always downwards here and here also so that is the line of gravity it is always directed downward then its magnitude is basically the gravity and its point of action is the center of gravity or center of mass now if you take an example over here you can see the arm and arm has a center of mass right over here in the middle and the arm has a center of gravity over here or center of mass which is more on the heavier side of the arm right and it is acting downward the line of gravity is downward now if i split this arm into components or segments as i said over here it can be divided into arm forearm and hand so this arm will have a center of mass forearm will have a center of mass and hand will have a center of mass or you can say gravity when the gravity the line of gravity is acting on all three of them correct simple enough right now when you flex the arm what will happen the gravity will be again acting downwards on each component right and what will happen if you see the final center of mass will be outside the body just like this over here right because when we are connecting it falls outside the body and the, this will be the final line of gravity that will be acting on your arm so these are some of the basics of line of gravity center of gravity center of mass and your gravity in general right so i hope you guys have this concept clear because next we will be talking about the base of support and also stability and balance if you like my video please share it with your friends Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also like the video as it really helps me out. Also let me know in the comment section what other videos you would like me to cover and see you soon in the next video.